Hello and good morning, Year One families. I'm here again to guide you through the Year One learning for this week. I hope you are keeping safe and being kind to one another. So how have you found the home learning? Was it easy? Were some bits a bit challenging? Did you find parts trickier than others? Top tip, challenge is good. It's because it, it makes you think about things in different ways. It makes you do really good learning when you persevere. And challenge is good for your grey cells, which do all the fantastic learning in our brains. Take your time when you're doing the challenges. Don't get frustrated. If you do, ask a sibling, brother or sister, maybe your parent, someone who can help you. And if you still can't get through, take a step back leave that particular piece of learning and then come back to a little bit later. You'll be amazed once you do maybe a little bit of jogging on the spot or running around the garden. When you come back to that question, you will find it much, much easier. So I hope you're also taking this time to do a little bit of physical exercise as well, because being mentally active is just as good as being physically active as well. So take the opportunity to, as I said, jog around, your house or in the garden or doing some star jumps or sit-ups or if you can follow Joe Wicks the PE coach on telly or do some cosmic yoga because all of these things will really help stimulate your brain. So let's get on with our English learning today. So you will see that we are going to be learning about verbs. Recap verbs are doing or action words so if you are thinking of a verb you will actually be able to do an action to help you to remember what that verb is so let's have a look at some verbs jump dance laugh Sing. Hop. So we're going to play a little verb game. I also have some nouns here. So we have mud, cat, shoe. I'm going to put these in with the verbs. When I show one of these blue cards, if it's a verb, you have to do the action of the verb. If it is a noun, you've got to sit down as quick as you can. Are you ready? Hop. So I hope you're all hopping. How long should I leave this card up for? I'll put it down. You ready for the next one? Mud. Hmm, should you be doing any action? Can you do a mud? So if it's not a verb, an action or a doing word, it must be a noun. So, good. I'm ready for the next one. Can you action this word? I think I can hear you. Beautiful singing. Can you do this word? I think you can. Oh my goodness, I feel the roof shaking. You must be jumping. Ready for the next one? Hmm. Shoe. A verb or a noun? Well, I can't action a shoe. I can't do a shoe, so it must be a... That's right. You're right. It is a noun. And... The last one. Well done, I can hear you laughing. Brilliant, excellent. Right, well, in a few moments, you are going to write a sentence using one of these verbs. So I've written two sentences. Should we read them together? I can sing and dance. I can sing. I can definitely dance. Where's the verb? Well done. Sing. Sing is a verb. I can action that word. 
There's another one. Well done, dance. You can sing and, let's use that conjunction, dance. Excellent. Second sentence. My brother ate his dinner. My brother ate his dinner. Hmm, what is the verb? Well done, eight. So you can extend sentences, not only using conjunctions such as and, you can also use adverbs. Now adverbs are special words that describe a verb. So for example, how did you laugh? Loudly. Loudly describes how the action, the verb is done. So, for example, happily, I sang happily, quietly, I tiptoed is the verb, quietly is the adverb, how you are tiptoeing. You could be tiptoeing 